In the fast-evolving world of smartwatches, few devices grab as much attention as the Apple Watch Ultra series. It's not just a watch, it's a statement, a device built for those who want more than just step tracking or notifications. Since its first launch, the Ultra line has carved a strong identity. It's known for its bold design, premium build quality, and serious performance. And now, all eyes are on what Apple is planning to release next, the Apple Watch Ultra 3. Be clear from the start, Apple is preparing something big, not just a minor update, but a true leap forward. From major internal upgrades to smarter features and possible game-changing capabilities, the Ultra 3 is shaping up to be one of the most exciting wearables Apple has ever made. In this section, we'll dive into everything we know so far. Starting with the launch date and timeline, moving into performance, display upgrades, smart features like blood pressure monitoring and satellite connectivity, and ending with early impressions of Apple's design approach for this year. When is it coming? The expected release timeline if you've followed Apple product launches in the past. You probably already know the general pattern. Apple tends to stick with a reliable fall release window, especially for its major hardware announcements. Every year around September, the tech giant unveils new iPhones, software updates, and of course, the next generation Apple Watches. And if rumors and leaks are to be believed, which, by the way, have been surprisingly consistent, the Apple Watch Ultra 3 will follow this same tradition. Industry insiders are pointing to a September 8, 2025 keynote event, where Apple is expected to unveil the Ultra 3 alongside the iPhone 17 lineup. Pre-orders might start just days later on September 12th, with full retail availability by September 19. What's interesting this year is that Apple didn't release a major update to the Ultra series last year. Instead, the company introduced a new color option, the satin black titanium version, for the Ultra 2. That means we haven't seen a real upgrade in over a year, and that's part of the reason why anticipation is so high right now. People are hoping for more than just a new paint job. They want something fresh, exciting, and meaningful. If you've been waiting for a major reason to upgrade your Apple Watch, this might be the perfect time. From everything we're hearing, the Ultra 3 isn't just a small bump, it's a full-on refresh. With changes that go deep beneath the surface, performance boost. Say hello to the S11 chip at the heart of every smartwatch is its processor. That's the brain that controls everything from opening apps to tracking your heartbeat. And in the world of smartwatches, Apple is leading the charge with powerful, efficient chips that push the limits of what a wearable can do. The current Apple Watch Ultra 2 runs on the S9 chip, which was solid and introduced some meaningful improvements in speed and battery life, but for the Ultra 3, Apple is reportedly taking things to the next level. Some insiders believe we'll see the brand new S11 chip debut in this model. That's a big deal. Why? Because this chip is expected to be smarter, faster, and more efficient than anything before it. It might bring the same leap in power that we saw when Apple switched from Intel to its own silicon on Macs. In the Ultra 3, this chip could lead to quicker app launches, smoother animations, faster Siri responses, and better real-time tracking during workouts or activities, but the real game changer might be AI performance. The S11 is believed to be designed with on-device artificial intelligence in mind. That means more of your interactions with the watch, from voice replies to health insights could happen directly on the device without needing to connect to your iPhone or the internet. This shift not only improves speed, but also enhances privacy. Your data stays on your wrist and out of the cloud. All of this adds up to a more intelligent watch. A device that doesn't just follow commands, but understands what you need. And when you need it, it's like having a mini assistant on your wrist. One that's always learning and adapting to your habits. A smarter, brighter, more efficient display. Now let's talk about the screen. After all, it's the part of the watch you interact with the most. Every tap, swipe, and notification goes through that display. And for the Ultra 3, Apple is bringing in some serious upgrades. Rumors suggest that the new model will use LTPO3 display technology. If you're not familiar with the term, here's a quick breakdown. LTPO stands for Low Temperature Crystalline Oxide. It's a display tech that allows for variable refresh rates, meaning the screen can change how fast it updates depending on what you're doing. Why does that matter? Because it helps save battery life. If you're just glancing at the time or a notification, the screen can refresh more slowly to conserve power. But if you're navigating maps or scrolling through an app, it can speed up for a smoother experience. The ETTO3 version improves on this even further, offering better efficiency and possibly even higher peak brightness. This new screen might also perform better under harsh sunlight, perfect for hikers, outdoor athletes, or anyone who finds themselves in bright environments. Imagine being on a mountain trail in the middle of the day and still being able to clearly see your stats without squinting or shielding the screen. That's the promise of this new display. And perhaps best of all, the always-on display will become more practical than ever. With smarter refresh rates and better energy use, you can leave the display on all day without feeling like your B-A-T-T-E-R-Y is draining too fast. Major health upgrade. 
cuffless blood pressure monitoring, one of the biggest innovations coming to the Ultra 3 is in the area of health tracking. Apple has always positioned its watches as health-focused devices with features like heart rate tracking, ECG, and fall detection. But the Ultra 3 is expected to raise the bar even further. The headline feature here is blood pressure monitoring and not the kind that requires a bulky cuff. This would be a cuffless wrist-based solution using new optical sensors and machine. Learning that means the watch could estimate your blood pressure by simply being on your wrist, no extra equipment needed. This is potentially life-changing for a huge number of people. For those who manage hypertension or heart conditions, the ability to track blood pressure trends regularly and get alerts about spikes or drops could be a major tool for staying safe and informed. But it's not just about medical conditions. Daily stress, sleep quality, and even hydration levels can affect your blood pressure. By tracking this in real time, the watch could help you understand your body's patterns and guide you toward healthier habits. And because Apple focuses on proactive alerts, you wouldn't just get numbers, you'd get actionable insights. For example, the watch might suggest that you take a break, hydrate, or contact your doctor if your pressure seems out of range. This level of health tracking turns the Ultra 3 into more than just a small niche. It becomes a personal wellness advisor, always paying attention and ready to help when needed. Go off the grid. Satellite messaging may be coming. Let's talk about a feature that could completely change how we use smartwatches, especially for people who love to travel or explore remote areas. That feature is satellite connectivity. According to multiple sources, Apple is exploring the idea of including basic satellite messaging in the Apple Watch Ultra 3. This would allow you to send simple texts or share your location even when you're totally off the grid, no cellular or Wi-Fi coverage needed. Think about the possibilities here. If you're hiking deep in the mountains, on a backcountry camping trip, or even just stuck in an area with poor service, your Ultra 3 could still reach emergency contacts. It might not support full conversations, but even basic location sharing or SOS messages could be life-saving. This would make the Ultra 3 incredibly useful not just for fitness enthusiasts, but also for rescue teams adventurers, military users, and travelers. It shifts the purpose of the watch from something nice to have to something essential, especially in situations where safety is on the line. Of course, we'll have to wait and see exactly how Apple implements this. Satellite communication is tricky and expensive, but if anyone can pull it off in a sleek, user-friendly way, it's Apple, and if satellite support becomes real, it could help explain another rumor, the possible addition of 5G connectivity. 5G on your wrist, more speed, more possibilities. Most current Apple Watches already support LTE, which lets you make calls, send texts, and stream music without your iPhone nearby. But with the Ultra 3, Apple might take things a step further by introducing 5G. This would unlock a faster, more responsive experience across the board. Think of quicker downloads, smoother audio quality for FaceTime calls, and even the potential for real-time translation or live video support in future watchOS updates. Combined with satellite backup, 5G would make the Ultra 3 one of the most connected wearables ever built. Whether you're downtown or in the middle of nowhere, you could stay in touch, stay informed, and stay safe. That level of freedom and reliability all from a watch on your wrist is what sets the Ultra series apart from almost anything else on the market.